Greetings humanity of our world. We are anonymous. In latest trends, the United States is trying again. Shame on the United States and its broken democracy. The United States House of Representatives has joined Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, the neoconservatives, Washington's vassals, the American and European prostitutes, in demonizing Russia and President Vladimir Putin. The House resolution against Russia is a packet of lies, but that did not stop the resolution from passing by a vote of 411 yes and 10 against. The entire world should take note that the American people are capable of electing only 10 intelligent representatives. 10 people out of 435 is 2%. And yet, Washington declares itself to be the exceptional and indispensable country empowered to exercise order over the world. No one should be surprised to see Washington, its prostitutes, and European vassal states to use the same propagandistic lies against Russia and President Vladimir Putin. The same lies were used against Iraq and Saddam Hussein, Libya and Gaddafi, Syria and Assad, Afghanistan, Taliban, and Iran. Washington is fearful of the rise of Russia and China, of the leadership demonstrated by Vladimir Putin, of the formation of new organizations independent of Washington, such as the BRICS, while the George W. Bush regime was sidetracked by its six-week, $70 billion war, which turned out to be, so far, a multi-trillion dollar 13-year losing operation. President Vladimir Putin kicked out some of the American agents who were contaminating Russian sovereignty and managed to rebuild the country. This civilization. People elect, democratically, incompetents, corrupts, and thieves. Persons without ethical, and, or, moral values. Which uses the police, laws, and justice paid by people to protect themselves and to persecute people when people seek for truth and justice. But people always think the same way. Always thinking about voting, always thinking about electing more incompetent, more corrupt, more thieves. Finally, they all are puppets, each other's puppets, because behind the scenes, behind the curtain, behind the veil, there are others. And these, the hidden ones, are the truly masters of puppets. We have a dream, and that dream, will become true. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the United States of America. Stop trying to start World War 3. We are anonymous. And we see what you are blatantly trying. A nuclear war between two powerful countries will only lead to our world's and its inhabitants' destruction. This, we, will not accept. To Russia and its inhabitants, Anonymous, and the rest of the world, will do our very best not to see this from happening. To the puppet masters inside the Federal Reserve, you lose. We will end your debt schemes. Forever. Expect that.